all right, I just wanted to do a video just explaining the kind of fruit that comes out of Steven Anderson's cult. So it turns out it's made to my attention that there were some Steven Anderson cult members. And if you see me shivering, it's freezing in my room right now. For whatever reason, the air conditioning is only on in my room. So it's cold, uh, which is, you know, uh, annoying, but I just have to put up with it. Basically, uh, anyway, back to the point. Uh, Steven Anderson, uh, some of his cult followers, or one of his particular cult followers, was you know attacking me all over Instagram and all this other stuff and posting th things about me in his Instagram stories, uh, which I've taken screenshots of. And I want to show you, this is the kind of, this is how Anderson's cult acts. Because I said before, they have no power of God whatsoever. When they want to solve a problem or solve an issue, they don't go to God's word like a, a Bible-believing Christian would. They go to the internet. They go to their electricity that powers their internet router. It's that simple. The power they have does not come from God. The power they have comes from the electricity powering their internet router. I've said before. We're going to show some screenshots of the type of stuff they say because what they do is that, and, and what you'll see, one of the things they try to do is they'll he'll take these these clips of my videos, and I have over 800 videos on my channel. It's very easy to take a little clip and you know take something out of context, and this way that's what these guys do. But he takes a little clip. He, he just attacks me personally, which is just typical characteristics of a, you know, cult member when their leader gets attacked or exposed, I'll put it that way. But I'm going to read the uh, screenshot. Here's the first screenshot uh, from this guy. His name his, uh, and, and, and I'm going to name names because they need to be called out publicly. You know, if he's going to attack me by name, I'm going to call his name. So this is uh, Instagram page he's got there. Uh, he says, uh, he, he quotes Galatians 1.9. He says, Mark and avoid this dispensational devil who denies the Trinity. It is a sorrow tard like Schmitney Robinson that teaches you must repent of your sins to be saved and that repentance is, quote, sorrow of sin and believes that God hates interracial marriage. Let me just come out and say it. Guilty as charged. I do believe the Trinity is, is uh, of the devil. I do believe the Trinity, the Catholic Trinity, is witchcraft and occultism. I do believe you must repent of your sins to be saved, but what is repenting of sin? God the sorrow over your sins, but he attacks that. You know, calls me a sorrow tard. You know, typical personal attacks like that. And yes, I do believe interracial marriage is a sin. Guilty as charged, you know. And then this next part, he takes a clip of my video about the Trinity, uh, the Catholic Trinity, because I do believe in distinction in the God. I'm not modalist or oneness. I do believe there is distinction within the Godhead. But there's a whole false dichotomy of either your Catholic Trinity or your oneness modalist. Well, I'm neither one. I don't subscribe to either system. But... He takes a little little uh, clip out of my video. He cuts out the part of the video where I show scripture after scripture after scripture and takes a little snippet and soundbite. He says, according to him, the Trinity is literal witchcraft, paganism, and polytheism. Uh, it is. I showed my in my video, but you had to cut a little clip out because you can't handle the entire scripture or the historical evidence I provided as well. You know, And, and by the way, here's the clip of the video that he cut out. Okay, here's the clip he cut out. Watch this. The body. Of the Godhead. For those of you who don't know, the Godhead is made up of body, soul, and spirit. Okay? I reject the pagan and occult trinity. The trinity comes from paganism, it comes from occultism, it comes from witchcraft. Okay? Now, here we have yet again him taking a little clip out of my video. You know, does not show the full video, does not deal with the scripture presented. Because, again, why? These guys have no power of God. They don't have power from the Holy Scriptures. All they have is power from making little slanderous internet videos attacking those they disagree with. It's that simple. And he says here in this, in this uh, little screenshot, he says, you know, taking a clip out of my video, repentance is not being sorry for sin. So was God sorry for sin when he repented more than any other in the Bible? What a butchered view of repentance not found in the scripture. Was Paul sorry when he sinned? Was Paul sorry he sinned when he repented of his repentance in 2 Corinthians 7, 8? And this is the common argument these guys like to use. Well, God repented in the Bible. Yeah, repentance in the context of salvation is what I'm referring to. See, this is what these guys do. They'll straw man you as well. Because there are different there are different repentances in the Bible. You have God repenting, changing his mind. You have, you know, Judas you have Judas, for example, repenting in Matthew chapter twenty seven, where you know he's basically feeling sorry for himself, you know, worldly sorrow. Then you have repentance in the context of salvation, which is sorrow over your sins then you have repentance after salvation where you know you change your mind you turn from a certain action there's different types of repentance you see this is what these guys don't understand you know and, and i was part of their cult too so i used to use that argument as well well god repented so does that mean that god is, is a sinner yeah they use that argument all the time you know i never said that god was a sinner but again watch watch the, the clip he takes out of my video completely 
out of context, not dealing with the full video. Watch this. When people like me, when I say repentance of sins, I'm saying you have godly sorrow over your sins. You're having godly sorrow for your sins. That's what repenting of sins is in the context of salvation. Then after salvation, you turn from your sins. Now, this next couple of screenshots, we're just going to see him going full uh, defense mode for his little cult leader, Anderson, out there in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. So this next screenshot, he uh, says he says about me, Every time you search up Steven Anderson on YouTube, you will see several videos posted per month by this clown <laughs> of him running his mouth. What a, what a shizzo blank, blank stare of his. You know, very good at the personal attacks there, buddy. A textbook example of a cult leader, cult member right there. Personal attacks. You know, uh, yeah, I've been exposing Anderson for almost two years now. And hey, you know, I'm going to keep doing it because this is why I do it. There are a bunch of slandering uh, cult members who just attack, personally attack anybody, you know. And by the way, too, what about John 7, 24? Not judging according to appearance, but judging righteous judgment. W what does me having a blank stare, what does, that, what does that prove? How does that prove anything? You know, judging according to appearance, that's what they're doing. This next screenshot, he says... Uh, this random no life dedicates dedicates multiple YouTube channels to railing against Pastor An Pastor Stephen Anderson and is mul has multiple playlists exposing <laughs> just one man Stephen Anderson. Multiple playlists? Uh, I I have a, I have a few, but you know, he's making it seem like I'm just obsessively. I do other stuff too on my channel as well. Imagine unironically using Ruckmanite to believe in seven different salvation plans as reliable sources against a man of God. You know, Ruckmanite. I mean, I'm not. I don't consider myself a Ruckmanite. I mean, right here is the Ruckman reference Bible, but you know, I don't consider myself a Ruckmanite. I mean, I I agree with some of the stuff he says, but you know, they put these little labels on you. I mean, I can turn right around and say, hey, you're an Andersonite. You're just defending your little cult leader Anderson. See, you won't make you won't see me making videos defending Peter Ruckman because why? You know, I'm you know we're, we're we're we are our own people. Okay, Ruckman. I don't agree with him on everything, but Hey, you know, he's not, he's not my cult leader, you know, but this guy's clearly some kind of idolater of Anderson. So, and he's getting triggered. Oh, nine videos. How about you actually watch the videos and see what, what's brought up, the points that are brought up. But he don't know he won't do that because why? He doesn't like having his Pope exposed. So yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm a random no life. Again, very good with the character attacks right there. He says, um, one playlist has 79 videos. Congratulations. The amount of attention you gave Anderson makes even Brian Dellinger blush. Anderson lives in your head, head rent free. Uh, no, because Brian has made well over 130 videos on Anderson. I've only had 79. You know, oh, I'm more obsessed than Brian Dillinger. We also forget that I've made videos exposing Brian as well, but whatever. Anderson lives in your head, your head rent free. Sure, whatever. Next screenshot. His channels are, quote, faithful servants of Christ, faithful servants of Christ, biblical studies, Jesus saves from hell, Faithful servants of Antichrist, that's what you should be called because because only a godless devil would teach against the Trinity. Well, why don't you show me Trinity in Scripture? Well, how about you show me a verse? Here, show me a verse. So don't, don't go to the internet. Don't go to some YouTube video or some article. Show me from the Word of God where uh, God is called three persons. There's divine essence. There's one in unity, one in essence. Show me all that in Scripture. You know, I can show you 1 John 5, 7 where it says these three are one. Okay, but does not say these three persons are one. You see, I do believe in distinction in the Godhead. I'm not oneness or modalist. I do believe there is distinction. There is separation in the Godhead. For example, like in Matthew chapter 3, verse uh, 16 and 17. That's simple. But I don't believe this Catholic trinity of three persons that are all... And Anderson even says in one of the clips I'll, I'll just show in this video, he says that there's three seats of consciousness. There's three uh, different wills. I mean, it's blatantly polytheism what they teach. Okay, so yeah. Anyway, just don't. This is the kind of fruit that comes from Anderson's cult. Now, here's the clip I'm going to show of Anderson teaching his, his Trinity polytheism. Watch this. Because I seek not my own will, but the will of the Father which had sent me. Now, are there two different wills in that verse? Yes. I'm not seeking my own will. Oh, just kidding. I really am. <laughs> now, look, what does three persons mean? Three persons means three identities. Check. Three wills, three seats of consciousness. Now, how can they not have three seats of consciousness when Jesus Christ was dead for three days and three nights? Who's running the universe? Yeah, now that's what you call polytheism right there. That's why I say it with T. I'm not against the 
basic uh, separation of the Godhead. There is obviously distinction and separation. Again, I'm not one that's a modalist. But Anderson, when he... Te- and there's even other Baptists who would agree, yeah, Anderson is teaching a full-on polytheism. I've had other Baptists you know, say, write comments saying, yeah, what Anderson teaches is not is not in line with the, bib- the historic Baptist doctrine on you know, the distinction of the Godhead. Anderson's going way into like tritheism and type, st- and type stuff like that, you know. So anyway, that a bit of a side issue, but just wanted to point that out that, you know, that it's not just me who says that Anderson, even other Trinitarians would say that Anderson is polytheist in, in his view on the Trinity. Uh, so anyway, this is the kind of fruit that comes from Anderson's cult. Uh, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.